everybody. Oh, let me get this out of my hair. I don't know why I'm failing with this. I just should just put the vinyl on. Excuse me. Okay, anyway. Um Okay, this is the further response to the video I posted, I think, yesterday concerning um vinyl community member uh Steve. Uh, also known as Sika One, uh, and this is to this is the follow. And um, he's got Beast, Peace of Mind, and Seventh Son uh, in good condition. And whoops, I'm just trailing out of the view here. Um, and so he's got those for trade. Uh, I've already talked to them through PM, and they're in good condition. This is to uh, so what he wants is uh, a couple of um, Slayer albums, and so this is to the Slayer collectors and any of you that know. Anybody who collects Slayer within the vinyl community, he's looking for a Decade of Aggression, the live album, or and or uh, God Hates Us All. He specified the Bible cover. Um, to my knowledge, it only has that cover on the picture disc. Any, whether it be the original red or the subsequent repress in the vinyl conflict set, it's got the cross um, cover on it. They and they had the original artwork was on the inner sleeve. At, at least that's the way uh, I did a I did a video that went through some inner sleeves. Um, on my Aussie Head channel, and I think that's that's I mean that's the way it is with that one. And as far as I know, it only comes with the original artwork on picture disc. Otherwise, it's got it's printed with the with the uh, censored cover, and then it's got the inner sleeve with the with the like, like you know a bunch of bands like say cannibal corpse but anyway um I'm, I'm rambling so that's what he's looking to trade and you know as as far as you know and this is where you guys can come in and and and, and give um him and me both some help I basically told him that if you put a value of those albums against any of those Slayer albums, it it, it doesn't it doesn't really come out. Because um, again, um, unlike some of you, for most of my collection, especially the metal collection, I've had to go to the internet. I haven't been able to go to. Uh, shows or pick them, pick some up uh pick stuff up at uh um in record stores because they don't always have a, a lot of the, the heavier stuff because it either it doesn't come in or it just it doesn't sell so i basically when when asked to put a value to the maiden albums in comparison to the slayer ones i used ebay prices and of course as everybody knows those are highly inflated and so they're not really the best um, guide as as far as price. And you know even you know and, and what I've spent I spent probably on the you know mid to higher range um, on those al on on the albums that he was talking about. And I just checked again, and they came in they came in about the same because uh, the they didn't have any, because I, I checked eBay within the last day or two, 
um, for the, for those albums to get you know to get a better idea on what stuff is. Of course, that's just the asking price. Of course, that's not what the what uh, you know what they're sold for. But you know, starting bids for decade of aggression uh, in the original. You know, in good condition with both LPs and the booklet included, started at fifty bucks. I've seen them as high as a hundred bucks, and so it's it's not really a good base. And then, you know, God hates us all. I mean, it's I don't have the official number, but I know it's on. It was uh, the original pressing was under three thousand uh, on red, and they start. Anywhere from forty to sixty, and so I really, you know, and the Maiden albums were going anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five, and on the high end there was one that there was a there was either Beast or Peace of Mind was going, that had a buy it now like 50 plus on it some ridiculous number so pretty much you know that's it uh so if you guys know anybody or if you yourselves are looking for some maiden and you want to trade uh and you and you've got uh any of those Three albums. Um, I haven't. I sent him a message and I haven't heard back from. Him. Um, so I'll say for now, since I've. Um, I'll say. Originals or, subsequent repress like a uh, vinyl conflict edition, uh, copy if you've got it. Uh, I was given first crack. Um, and. Uh, Thank you, Steve, for for doing that. Um, the thing is, um, you know, when it comes to my Slayer collection, anything, whether it be vinyl, DVDs, CDs, T-shirts, autograph stuff, you know, so on and so forth, um, you know, cold dead hands kind of a thing. Um, I'm not. I don't want to let it go of um, really. There's not much. Maybe I don't know. Like personally owned items would probably be the only thing that I would really consider um, giving this up for. So um, yeah. So basically, uh, Slayer collectors other than than me uh, hit Steve up. Um, I put the uh, yeah, I put the link to his page um, in the in the the other the first video I did talking about this. I'll probably do it for this one and um, hit him up and see if you can uh, strike a deal. Um, and once again, uh, thanks, Steve, for the offer. And I should have um, more. I should have another vinyl video pretty soon. I ordered some stuff. I've had some stuff come in, but I'm waiting for it to get. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wait for the stuff to come in. Um, okay, and I've talked long enough on this. See you later, everybody.